Hello, it's Rich here. This is a shiny new guitar unboxing. I'm a bit worried because it's come what looks like to be single boxed. So I'm hoping, and it's not, but inside it's not damaged. Because if it is, I'd be very upset. And I'm amazed the box hasn't even, hasn't just flung open to be honest. It's not even taped up very well. Look, literally two bits of sellotape. Uh, please be a box in a box. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not a box in a box. Oh, look. It's not a box in a box. There is some bubble wrap on it. Oh, God. This is damaged. I'm going to be very annoyed. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, who sends a £600 guitar in one shitting box anyway anyway okay well first thing to note is the pit guard has been sent separately well in it but not actually on the guitar let's pull that There's a big Epiphone sticker and a guarantee. This is guaranteed. What is this? The instrument is guaranteed. The original purchaser. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Oh, please, please just be okay. Ah, oh, dear. Be okay, please, please. Who sends a single box guitar? God, blimey. I think I've, I've been to send but a lot of the cheaper guitars I've sold better packaged than this. Just be, just be, just be okay. Just be okay. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Oh, please, please, please. Okay. Well. Look at that. Top. Is there any damage? I can't see any. Okay. Right. Let's look for imperfections. <laughs> um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, camera pick up here. It's not the tidiest right there next to the binding. Right, the neck goes onto the body. Uh, I'm just give it a and hmm. yeah, there is a scuff mark down here, which is not ideal. Maybe they're considering it to be a road worn. <laughs> um, any imperfections on the top, Richard? The thing is, I've not had a more expensive guitar for quite a while. I've had lots in the past. I've had a Gibson Les Paul in the past and lots of Fenders and so on. So, you know, when you decide to pull the, you know, push the boat out and get a more expensive guitar again, you want it to be just right, don't you? Um, the action's not brilliant. Uh, Mm, action's a bit high for me. Can we see? A bit hard to tell, I suppose. Right, neck. Seems to be all okay. It's got the Grover locking tuners, which is a nice touch. And you say it should be. £600 is still £600. 
the nut appears to be cut pretty well. It's certainly not a... Uh, hold on. Some little tiny bit of glue still here. Again, a little bit hard to tell from my camera, apologies. Um, Headstock's okay. Now, a lot of people have been going on about these headstocks. You know, don't like it. I, d I do like it. I think that's nice. What else can we see? Because that's the thing, isn't it? With, I mean, <laughs> look at the finish on the binding around here. That is really poor. Colour imperfection. Um, well, I, don't, oh, I might actually send this back. So there's another imperfection flaw. Come on, camera. It's really it's quite subtle, but it's where the neck. Just here, that's a messy joint. That binding's crap load from that. It's really slack. Uh, what else? Fret ends. Yeah, they're good. They're very good. That's on the fretboard. Well, the perloid inlay on the last fret has got some scratches on it. You see that? as has the uh, fretboard itself just below that, ebony. Um, sorry, muttering, muttering. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of the QC, I suppose. Funny enough, when I was chatting to Carsten, you know, the Gang Dane who we're buddies with on YouTube guitars, and we're talking about what guitar I was gonna get next. He did say to me actually that, you know, some of the QC on Epiphones has been a bit iffy and uh, I think that's fair to say it is iffy for this kind of money you know which to a regular man like myself it's a decent amount of money it should be better than this I mean that bit of binding there that's just really poor can I show you that again look here different colour Goes over. That's shocking. <laughs> uh, anyway, do the buttons pull? Yes. That one doesn't. Not supposed to. Okay. Um, right. Let's um. Should give it a quick tune up and have a two minute raz. On it. Let's just put that on the end of there. Bear with me just a sec. Oh. Come on, come on. Tuners feel nice. Yeah, they feel very smooth. Wow, 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 baby, baby. Right, let's uh, plug in, in, oops, noisy. <clears throat> so that's uh, output jack socket felt good.
Pull out this one. It's just pulled straight off. Dear me. No. Didn't even pull it very hard. I had an Epi I've had an Epiphone uh, Les Paul Custom before and a Custom Pro. Um, uh, what else have I had Epiphone? I've had a couple of cheaper ones. And they have very much a sort of a thin U-shape kind of feel to them. Now these notes are supposed to be uh, asymmetrical, aren't they? Fatter one end than, than the other. But actually, I think unless you have them side by side, you wouldn't be able to tell. This just feels like a thin U to me. Just the same, really. crunchy channel a little bit rubbish hmm. Hmm. they've got a nice click to, to them but um I've only just plugged it in. I appreciate that, but my uh, my trusty squire that I just sold sustained. Not that dissimilar to this.
Um, right, sorry, I'll turn that off. Sad to say, I'm not impressed. And I should be, shouldn't I? I should be impressed. I should be like, yes, that was £500 well spent. I don't know if it feels like that. <laughs> the finish, it, it, do you know what? I mean, it is pretty, but it's not as sort of startling as, as it looks in the pictures. I'm wondering whether it's actually the right colour. It's supposed to be in a magma one here. I wonder whether this is more the, the iced tea. Maybe, oh, my, oh, I've just seen a finish floor in the top. Oh dear. Oh, I can't unsee that now. There's a little tiny dent in the top. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera. It's too small, I think. It's just here. Mm. Oh, you just about got a glimpse of it there. Look here, look. It's going back. It is going back. It's that simple. Not having that for that much money. Fuck's sake, excuse my language. I've got something on the back, is that a little scratch? No. This uh, new neck joint does make it a bit easier to get up here. So if it's any high frets. Hard to tell, but it's just not, it's not set up overly well. Tiny bit of buzz. Right, well, sorry for the silence there a little bit, but yeah, impressions are not very good. Just tiny little imperfections are all over the place. Um, and, you know, 500 pounds to somebody might not be a lot, it is to me. And I don't want something that I can see put imperfections in every time I look at it. You know, I don't want to see scratches on that perloid inlay right down at the bottom there. I don't want to see an imperfection in the shiny top. I don't want a fucking knob to just pull off my fingers all the time. That's ridiculous. That binding as well is absolutely rubbish around there. A tiny imperfection on the neck joint I can see. There's another, actually there's another one in the wood there. In fact, there are two. Ugh. No, no, not happy.